as you might be able to see, I am playing Virtual Pool 4. I got a message from a guy a few days back, and he said to me that this is a really good um, computer pool game. He didn't use those exact words, but he was basically, I think because he'd seen my videos on International Snooker, and thought I would really like this game Virtual Pool 4. So I thought, hey, I'll look at the demo. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I've already set up the game. As you can see, my resolution is quite big. That is why in the menus, they look quite small. But when you get into the game, that's fine, no problem. This is for the tracking. You can actually set all kinds of tracking paths. You can turn it off if you want to make the game harder and things like that. So that's good. Graphics, of course. The camera, you can alter some stuff like FOV. So, you know, that's pretty good. I like that. Mouse. Sound. So you can turn off the really annoying music. Let's do that now because that was like pretty generic music wasn't it to say the least key mapping mm, miscellaneous oh felt detail it's on oh good game font no. oh yeah so you know background what does that mean background oh anyway I'm sure it isn't anything that important anyway so without further ado they have got a hustler career play so this is interesting so it's supposedly like a career thing. It looks like it's got videos as part of it. So they're trying to kind of give you a career where you're a hustler, which is interesting. There's not that many other pool games that do that. Now, I would like to see a video of someone actually playing this so I can see what this is like. And I'll explain about that later. Uh, the Pro Tour... Again, it just explains, obviously, that you can try to be a professional pool player and all that. So there's two career modes. But all we can do right now in the demo is do a quick a quick play. So it, the only thing that I'm allowed is a six-ball, two-player game of pool. Loading. So as you can see, the actual graphics of, of the game are actually pretty good I like them they got some really nice little details like this kind of chalk marks on the white ball the environment itself looks pretty decent for a pool game it does I mean the way that the camera is you don't often look at the the surroundings because as you can see that the pool table does fill up most of the camera which is fine but it does look nice. I like the way that the balls look nice and shiny, kind of somehow high res. I don't know. It just looks kind of nice, doesn't it? I'm sure that you'll agree. I mean, I, you know, I'm pretty impressed with that. So I can basically now move this around. Let's put it here like a pro. Now, like I said earlier, you can actually turn off all of the tracking lines. I know especially in a pool game it makes it quite easy so let's just knock around some of these balls to get an idea of the physics shall we now first impressions are actually quite good I mean basically it's, it plays exactly the same as many other games like and I messed that up like international snooker it's a similar style obviously this game is only pool no snooker but I'm saying that the way that you hit stuff is very very similar and I always like these kind of games when it's it gives you the option to do the I mean like to play a shot using the mouse because I think that's good it feels kind of natural and it helps you to use exactly the right amount of power you know so it actually feels pretty good does feel pretty good like pretty smooth on the gameplay front I would say now let's put a little bit of spin on that so like I said you just press E move your mouse to do some spinny stuff like so and it didn't work 
Oh well. I'm only actually playing against myself. Because that's all I can do. So I beat myself. Awesome. So yeah, the actual the graphics and the mechanics of the game are pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Now I'll start to explain what my problem is now. Um, my problem is that the full game is $29.99. Now, I, I can appreciate that someone has put quite a lot of time into this game, but I'm still not sure that, it's, that this kind of game is worth $29.99. I, I don't know, like, what do you guys think? Because right now that's the one thing that's a little bit of a deal breaker for me, personally. Am I hitting the right ball? I am wool. Because, and this is why I said earlier that I want to try to find videos online of other people playing the career mode. Now, if the career modes are interesting, if they're quite long, and if they have some level of detail, and I, I mean, I'm pretty sure, it, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be a storyline. I mean, is there going to be a storyline? But what I'm trying to say is, if I feel that the career modes are interesting enough, and if I feel that they will, you know, be something that I will want to play for a number of hours, then that might be worth the $29.99. The other thing that I would like to know is, are there a lot of people playing this game? And I think I'm going to hit the wrong ball. No, I'm not. Are there a lot of people playing this game online? Because these kind of games are notoriously bad for not having many people online. Like International Snooker, unless you prearrange to play someone, you'll be very, very lucky if you find anyone online. It does happen, but yeah. So that would be another thing that I would like to find out more about. And... I mean, if you bear in mind the cost of, of this game, twenty nine ninety nine, then I would then make a suggestion to the developer. What they should do, rather than giving me a demo where I can play unlimited in this way, I think they should actually give me a demo where I'm able to play everything in the game, but only for a limited amount of time. So maybe it will have like a timer like a 30 minute kind of timer so i can play everything so i can look at the career modes i can see and then that third 30 minutes would be invaluable for me to find out whether i think this game is worth 29.99 because like i said if the career modes are interesting enough and if there are people online then it might be worth that because it seems like a decent game anyway that is my feelings on it you know, feels like a good game. Now, one of the other things I, I would say as well is because it's purely a pool game, from what I can see, one of the one of, of the things that always attracts me to like a snooker game is that kind of ch challenge of uh trying to get a one four seven or a big break. Now in pool, I'm not saying well I, I think it's more that my personal interest is not so much you know, motivated as much for pool rather than snooker. Although I do still enjoy it. If I was just playing lots of games against, you know, if it wasn't interesting enough, maybe I, I, I would again say it's not worth the money. But anyway, if any of you guys have played this game, I would love to know what you guys think. And thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.